Hi, this is Town of Islip Supervisor Angie Carpenter, and we're here to introduce a new segment to ITV, and that's why I love my job. So you're going to be hearing from some Town of Islip employees who are really the backbone of delivering services to our residents in this town, and we are so very grateful for them and what they do every day, and so very, very proud of them. So you're going to be hearing from some of them, and also don't be surprised if you're hearing from some of the other people that work in the Town of Islip, not for the Town of Islip, but help keep the Town of Islip being the great town that it is. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Hi, my name is Vincent Messina. I'm the Fleet Service Coordinator for the Town of Islip. I'm in charge of all your vehicle repairs. Anything you see out there on the road comes through the shops and we maintain them here. I have one guy in particular, Mr. Bob. Uh, he's old school. He, uh, he's a machinist and fabricator. Like people call me Bob C. And I born in the Poland, coming to the United States, start working in the Valley Forge Militar Academy. And from over there, I moved to the New York, started work with high-class cars, you know, and from over there, I started to work for town 15 years and do it uh, machine work, rebuilding, and uh, you know, all equipment, do town, you know, have it. It's no matter what department, working for every department, when they need help with rebuilding, that's what I do it for them. Mr. Bob's been with us about 15 years at the town of Islip. Uh, he's got an extensive background of vehicle repair. He worked, on a, he worked for a high-end company, had his own shop and all that kind of stuff, where you couldn't get parts anymore. You had to fabricate parts. parts. Uh, so he comes from auto body, regular repairs, engine, transmission, uh, rear ends, AC, the whole entire aspect of a vehicle, Bob's had his hands on. And if he couldn't get that part, he was making it. I fabricate parts on the lathe machine and on the milling machine. And anything we need to be done by hand, I do it handwork too. A lot of small stuff too, a lot of, you know, all, all the small pumps, machines, you know. That's, I enjoy. Sometimes I redraw it, everything, you know, on the piece of paper, take it measurements and start working on the machines. Do it my plan. So I started school in 1952, right. two years was uh, apprentice and four years mechanical school and on the night I do it another one uh, machine school, two years. Because you, you know like in the Poland you're just a car mechanic, you know mostly you work on the base, you know outside. Like you machinist too, you stay inside, you don't need to work outside. That's you know, I, I did it to you know, improve myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I work under all the different pumps, all different equipment, you know, to, together with 15 years, you know, I figured out that they're in the hundreds. Yeah, I yeah. keep the rolling and I'm happy. Anything where is discarded, would I pull back to the life? I'm very happy. Any parts that we can't buy from the store anymore that's obsolete, uh, if we're doing a sand spreader and the gearbox is broken or something to that effect, uh, we'll take the the, uh, the gearbox off. One of my guys will take it apart. We'll bring it in the back to Bob, where he'll go in and inspect what's going on. Uh, at that point, he'll come to me with a materials list. If we can't get it from where you get parts from, I'll send someone to uh, the steel place, and we'll come back with aluminum, metal, threaded rod, pipe, whatever he needs, and uh, he goes at it in the back. He uh, he'll he'll machine up anything whatever he has to, to get the job done. This uh, pump uh, what uh, I received from the dock department, this is old pumps and uh, they compression and seals start leaking and water condensation go to the crankcase and ruin the bearings. Now I must dismantle, measure everything, check and pull maybe new bearings, new hats and get it on. Yeah, I, I try, you know, my best to do it, you know, with town be satisfied. And, you know, what's uh, coming to the, you know, appreciation, I know I got a good crew now with Vinny on the top, and we do it anything we need to be done, we do it together. Yeah, what, you know, what, what i doing, I like this job because I know I help a lot of people, you know, to, with my knowledge. 
any new person coming in may be able to use the machines and that kind of stuff, but anything Bob has up in his brain is untouchable, I mean, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, so far over here, I don't have a competition yet. <laughs> Yeah, because, yeah, because yeah. though it is a good eye doing, they take it many, many years, you know, experience. He is like an artist, for, for sure, without a doubt. What he does is, some of the parts he makes is art. Have you seen how he makes them out of the metal and machine it down to a sprocket, to a shim, to a pin, to a bushing? Uh, if the shaft is worn out, he's making bushings out of brass. He is... Uh, He's incredible. He is really a one of a kind kind of guy, and uh, he is a big asset of the town of Isop. And what's happened, the parts is no more available. You know, what I do it, I recut them to the different standard and fit to housing, and I cutting the housing too. This way I can match what I got a clearance like 20,000 between housing and impeller. Not the way, you know, it's waste. This way I mostly do it, all these things, you know, to get it work. We, we cannot buy these pieces. And like this pump, you know, where it's over there, is not available no more. You know, they discard. And I talk with Vini, I tell him, I take it one on the part, we see what we can do. And for torquing, I make it 10 year running. You know, with the pumps not working, I, I redoing. You know, whole pump, pull new pistons, new bearings, everything pulled together, reset pressure, and working. Pumps with rain when we have flooded areas. He just saved the town a ton of money uh, with these old school pumps that we had. He took them apart, he couldn't get parts anymore. <clears throat> Bob machined up new bearings, new spaces, new impellers, everything. Saved about 25 pumps that we would have had to throw in the garbage. And actually the highway guys prefer those pumps over the new style because they work better. And without Mr. Bob here, we would have definitely had to throw them out and get the new version, which is good, but not as good as the old. They pump better, they pump further. You can buy complete, just as a lot of money, you know? And I uh, feel like sh we should not waste these things because, you know, you can do it. With the big uh, pumps, you know, with spots available, I make it completely shaft. You know, with bearing everything, you know, and because we cannot get another one. And I know one waste, whole pump with everything. I redid it. I make it my own and still working. I've learned a lot from Bob, just little things he's taught me over the years being here. Makes me a better guy, better technician. And one thing what I can mention, when I work in Valley Forge, military, I met Heather Eisenhower all this family that was very excited yeah like we was like that you know face to face uh -huh. yeah that was very excitement because i read in the euro bloody story about him he's excellent he loves fishing and all that kind of stuff he's even made some crazy stuff like that uh he is truly one of a kind uh just like the parts if we can't have if we can't buy them at the store he is fabricating them up and he is irreplaceable, just like the parts. If, he, if the part is irreplaceable, Bob is the guy for the job to, to create it and get the part or get the piece we need done so we can get that piece of equipment back out on the road. And you know, that's you know, life in the America. Yeah. Working hard, that's it. When I come over here, first vacation time I got after 17 years. <laughs> that's my vacation, first time. Yeah, and I try to achieve. He's getting the part ready for us so we could be ready for that snowstorm or that flood that we have down by the water to get our trucks and our equipment back out there. Bob is definitely truly one of a kind kind of technician and a great asset for the town of I Islip and uh, truly a great friend of mine. And <clears throat> I've learned a lot from him over the years. Yeah, uh, you know, like I get home, like something breaks, something like that, I try to fix it. I can do with electric work, plumbing work, you know, this way I can help myself. I cannot cook. <laughs> Don't wash dishes either. <laughs>